in today's video, we're doing a life update. What is up YouTube? Welcome to the video. My name is Tyler, also known as the Fit Chemist, and I help young men take control of their fitness, nutrition, and lifestyle habits so that ultimately we can lead healthier and happier lives. So if you're new here, welcome. Please consider subscribing. Turn those notification bells on so you don't miss when I post new videos. And if you are returning, welcome back. I'm so glad that you are here. It has been a hot minute since I have posted on YouTube. So I think the last video that I posted was December 3rd. And currently the date that I'm filming this is January 14th of 2022. So about a month and a half in between those videos. I posted something on my community page back in December saying that I just need to take a little bit of a break. And that was absolutely true. So I got slammed when I got back from Thanksgiving break. I think I had a presentation every single week for lab sometimes two presentations in one week had to meet with my advisor about a bunch of stuff doing some new research projects it's just there was a lot going on not to mention all the secret santas holiday parties outdoor ice skating christmas events all that stuff like i could have done youtube as well on top of that but i just would have burned myself out and honestly sometimes you just have to hit pause for a little bit Honestly, it's tough enough going through the holidays if you're single and on your own, but if I would have done YouTube, I would have been just sitting in my apartment filming videos and editing videos the whole time and like that on top of the holiday season, just being lonely. It's just like, I don't know, it would have been a recipe for disaster. I knew myself, I knew how that would make me feel. So like I said, I just need to hit pause on YouTube and go out and actually enjoy my life for a little bit. And don't get me wrong, I don't want this to come off as it seems like I don't actually enjoy putting these YouTube videos together because I totally do. When I was scripting this video, I was reminded just how much I actually enjoy doing YouTube and it feels so good to be back in front of the camera right now. But anyways, all this is a very long-winded way of saying that I did miss all of you guys and I hope that you missed my videos too. So while I was gone, I actually crossed the 1000 subscriber mark, which is awesome. So that means that I only need watch hours now to become monetized. So if people want to put my videos on in the background and just mute them, I don't care. I just need the watch hours. I think I need 800 or so and I average about 300 a month. So right now it's projected that about March of 2022, I will officially have a monetized YouTube channel, which is awesome. During my time off, I was thinking ahead and what it is I want to do and accomplish for YouTube in 2022. And I put a lot of thought into this, but I did end up coming to a conclusion that I don't think everyone is going to be happy with, including myself. It pains me to have to do this, but unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to extend that pause all the way until May or June of this year. When I got back to Boston after the new year, I talked to my advisor and we ended up settling on a thesis defense date of May 6th. That's so gonna be the first Friday of May, which is just under four months away and i'd say on average it takes about two months to write a thesis but i want to give myself way more time than that because i've seen so many people wait until the last minute and they're pulling all-nighters they're just not taking care of themselves and if i can put in work now to not have to go through that in the future i would much rather do that so that means once March rolls around, I'm gonna hit the ground running and I'm gonna be consumed pretty much 24 seven with thesis work, writing that, doing characterizations in lab, finishing up experiments, all of that good jazz. So that leaves me with two options. One of them would be, I don't actually start working on it until March and I can do YouTube stuff in January, February. And realistically, I could probably get maybe six or seven videos pumped out because I typically do about one per week or I could use that YouTube time to actually start working on my thesis now. I know it's probably sad to hear that I won't be posting videos for another couple of months, but that second option to me is an absolute no brainer. I don't think people realize how much time actually goes into one YouTube video between scripting, setting up the camera and everything, filming, stripping it down, editing the video, making the thumbnail, exporting it and uploading it to YouTube, setting up the description, just like, all that stuff takes a good five to 10 hours per video. And that's five to 10 hours that I would rather dedicate to thesis work in January and February. So that way, once March rolls around, I'm gonna be way ahead of the game. If you know me, I'm all about sustainability. And I think the most sustainable approach for this is to start now and to start getting a little bit done here and there. So my goal is to get maybe 30 minutes to an hour at least done each day on my thesis. And that way that adds up from January and February that by the time March hits, I'm gonna be in such a good position where I can actually take those solid two months to finish everything that I need to and not have to stress about it. I can still make it to the gym. I can still take care of my body. I can still get good sleep. And something else that's been really important to me over the last year 
that I want to continue in this year is growing my relationship with God. And honestly, I don't want to sacrifice Bible time. I don't want to sacrifice the community that I have in my life. So I'm going to do my best to make sure that I can get as much work done on my thesis now so that I can still have those elements in my life moving forward. I said I'm gonna defend on May 6th, so you might be wondering what comes after that, Tyler? Well, typically the one to two weeks after you defend your thesis, you have to go back and run some final experiments because your committee will often give you some experiment suggestions after you give your final talk. So you gotta go back, do that, put that back into your thesis, add whatever final data and results you need to, and then do all the formatting and finally submit the actual thesis. And then once that's over, I got to clean up my hood space. I got to clean out my desk space. I got to submit all the samples that I've made over the five years into this database that BU hosts. So there's still some work. It's not like May 6th rolls around. I give my presentation or my talk and then I'm completely done, but I'm hoping to be out of Boston by Memorial Day weekend of this year. So after I've wrapped everything up in Boston, my plan is to head down to Sarasota to follow my parents. They moved down there back in March of 2022. They absolutely love it. They send me pictures of the beach all the time and I'm just so jealous. I want to live that life. I think I'm gonna go full-time in online personal training and YouTube. So don't worry, in the future, there'll be plenty more of these videos. And to be honest, I love the way that DeSantis is running Florida right now. So Boston University over the last year, I'd say, has made it almost unbearable to stay in Boston because their policies have been such anti-science garbage. And same thing with Boston at large. So tomorrow will be January 15th of 2022, and Boston is putting in vaccine passports, which are absolutely unfounded on science. Just look at what happened in New York. They've had them since September of 2021, and they have record high cases in December. It just makes absolutely no sense. If anything, there should be proof of a negative test. Just because you're vaccinated doesn't mean you're not going to have the Rona. It's just like absolutely unbearable. Like I can't stay in Boston any longer. I'm so excited to graduate and get out of here. And honestly, I'd rather be down in Florida and be surrounded by like-minded conservatives and people who actually share my values and value freedom. Honestly, I've been putting a lot of thought into this recently, and I've come to the conclusion that there is no price tag that you can put on freedom or being free and living under freedom and good government, because there are plenty of chemistry jobs available here in Boston that I could go get. Maybe not a guarantee, but there's plenty available that I could be applying to. And if I did get one, you know, those pay well over a hundred thousand dollars a year, but I would rather move to Florida and make way less than that and actually live in freedom and good governance than stay in a tyrannical state like this. And another thing that's been on my mind recently was a quote Dennis Prager shared in one of his fireside chats, and it kind of just punched me in the gut. And he said, at the end of my life, I don't want my tombstone to read, here lies Dennis Prager, he lived an easy life. Like. I don't want my tombstone to say that either. I know going into online personal training and full-time YouTube is gonna be a lot of work. It's a financial risk because like I said, chemistry jobs are well over 100,000 a year. That'd be a really nice salary and guarantee to have and I'm not gonna have that moving to Florida. But like I said, I just value freedom way too much. I know God's got me in his hands. I'm just you know, gonna let him deal with it and trust that it's gonna work itself out in the future. And honestly, I think my heart lies more in this fitness stuff. I was thinking about it and like, if I go into drug discovery, I am helping patients, right? But I'm several steps removed. I'm making the compounds. It's gotta go through the pharma company and then it's gotta go through the doctor and get into the patient's hands. Whereas if I'm doing fitness and personal training, I'm working directly with someone to help them improve their life. So that's what's gonna be happening the next couple of months here in 2022. I haven't completely ruled out a chemistry job. I have been looking for some in the Dallas area just because the porch is there. I absolutely love the porch. It's a young adult ministry and I feel like getting plugged in there in person would be awesome. And I've also been looking for jobs in Tampa that are chemistry related. I found one postdoc opportunity available, but I'm a little hesitant to apply for that just because I've spent five years of my life working six days a week in a very intensive academic lab. And I don't wanna get transferred to another intensive academic lab and go do that for another two, three years. I'm getting to a point in my life where I wanna move on. I wanna start a family soon and actually start enjoying my life. So I'll still be perusing the job boards throughout January, February and see if anything pops up. And if a nice cushy industry job does pop up in one of those areas and God is putting it on my heart to apply, obviously I'd be obedient. But right now the plan is to chase after my dream and become an online personal trainer and just make that a full-time reality. The last thing that I wanna talk about before I wrap up the video here is that I was considering doing a video documenting my entire thesis writing process from start to finish but honestly I started working on my thesis last week while I had the Rona thankfully my symptoms were not that severe and I could just sit down and write and I had an entire week to focus on everything I got an outline done I started typing up procedures like 
I feel so good right now because honestly, I wasn't planning on doing that stuff until maybe late February or early March. So the fact that I'm super ahead of the game, I just feel great about that. But while I was doing that work, I realized just how much work and how busy I'm going to be doing that. And I just don't wanna take the time to focus on setting up a camera and have another thing in the back of my mind going while I'm actually working on my thesis. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be doing that. So that's the plan moving forward here for the spring semester. Instead of doing YouTube in January and February, I'm actually gonna take that time to keep working on my thesis and just make sure that I'm doing this as sustainably as possible. Like I said earlier, I hope you guys can understand. But once May rolls around, we're gonna graduate. I'm gonna have a hard earned PhD that I've been working for so long. And then after that, we are moving to Freedom Town down in Florida. As always, guys, feel free to reach out on social media. So my fitness Instagram is Tyler underscore the fit chemist. Or if you want to go ahead and follow me on my personal one, it's T R A U W O L F. So Trowel for T Rawolf. You want to drop in, say, Hey, you got a fitness question. Feel free to send me a message on either of those accounts, but that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below. And again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, turn those notification bells on so you don't miss when I return. And with that, I'll see you with my PhD.